Hello everybody. In this Unity tutorial, I'm going to go over how to load music from anywhere on your hard drive in Unity. Usually you could load it from like the assets folder, but you can't load it from just searching the C drive and playing a song. So I'm going to do that in this tutorial. So I'm going to start off and make a brand new project. We're going to do this from scratch together. And I'm going to call this one, um, I'll call it load a file. And you know, it could be a 3D project. I'm not really using the graphics. And I'll say create, and that'll come up. Okay, so here's a brand new 3D Unity project, and there's nothing in it. I'm going to add a empty game object, and I'm just going to call it um, song one. And in song one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to load audio from anywhere on the hard drive and I'm just going to use the things that are in Unity to do this with. So here's my song one and I'm going to have a script that I already wrote so I'm just going to drag and drop it in here. The, oops, I drag and dropped everything. Um, so the script here is song and I'm going to drag and drop that onto my song one. And hold on, this hourglass is spinning. All right, let's try it again. Song one, and I'm gonna drag song onto song one. So let's take a look at the script here in Visual Studio. Okay. Um, the sample code of how to do this loading audio from any file on the hard drive, I got from this URL address here. And basically, the script required an audio source, and that's why when I drag and dropped it, I got the audio source there. And then I have a pointer to my audio component right here, private, which I set in the start function. And then I have to use a coroutine to load the file. And I um, have an I enumerator routine called lo load audio. And the thing I'm using here is the www. And this is going to have a squiggly underline under it because it's something that Unity is deprecating, meaning like it's not going to support any longer and pretty soon it may just be out of Unity altogether. But that's the only thing I could find in Unity to load a song from anywhere on the hard drive. So here you can see the song I'm going to try to load is in C Omar Song Wave, and that is not in my assets folder at all. That's just somewhere on my hard drive, which um, here's the C Omar folder, and here's the song Wave. Okay, so that's the path I want to load. Now, in front of that path, I just concatenate it with um, the word file, dash, dash. Okay, and the dashes go forward. Then I use a www object, and I make a new www object with that path. And then I yield until the URL returns. So that's why this is in a separate um, thread, and I started a coroutine for it, is so that Unity could keep on running. And then in its own thread, it kind of tries to load the file. And when it's done loading, it will return the URL. Then when the URL is returned, I'm going to use my audio, my audio source and I'm going to set the clip of my audio source equal to that URL's get audio clip function. And the two parameters are if it's going to be um, 3D sound or not, and if I'm going to stream the sound or not. So I'm saying here that it's not going to be using 3D sound, and uh, I'll allow it to stream. And then after that, I just press, I just play the sound. So this is a real short script. and there you could look at it there. I'll just make sure it's saved. And let me go back into Unity and press play for this song one with my song script. And let's see if it loads that song and plays it. So I'm gonna press play. And you can hear that it did load it. So that's good, that's one way to load a song. But what happens, let me see in my folder here, that was a WAV file, and WAV files are really, really big. All right, usually that's not the way I have music saved on my hard drive. Usually I have it saved as MP3s, which are smaller. So say when a WAV is 10 times bigger than an MP3, I have this other song here, 
And I'm going to see with this method that I have here with the song thing, if I could change this to load my sample MP3 file instead. See, song MP3, which is right here, song MP3. I'm going to see if I could load that one using this method in Unity. And let's see what happens when I press play. I'm not hearing anything. And you can see right here, um, it says streaming of MPEG on this platform is not supported. So what I found out was that, let's double click on that. Yeah, the get audio clip only works with a WAV file. So it can only get a WAV file. So when I change this to MP3, the get audio clip did not work. So I had to think about how to get a song from my hard drive, turn it into a wave so that this get audio clip could actually play the sound. So that's where my second script comes in handy. It's this one over here, the um, song and audio script. So let's just take this first song here and let's just um, kind of um, hide it from the scene there so it doesn't do anything and let's make another empty game object and we'll call this song 02 let me name it song 02 and let's drag and drop the song and audio onto it okay almost the same thing and with this one I just made a variable where I could say what the song is there let's take a look at the script song and audio and it looks very very similar to the other script that we have, you know, to the song script. See, here's the song script, and here's the song and audio script. I required an audio source so that when I drag and drop my script on, it gets an audio source component there. Um, here I made the path and the inspector window public, and here's my audio source component pointer inside my script. And I did start a code routine and in the code routine, I did use um, the file dash dash with my path. I just kind of formatted it a different way. And I did use www. But over here, I used the N audio player from MP3 data. And this N audio player is not part of Unity. It's some extra DLL that I had to include. So this N audio player from MP3 data this is this class over here that I wrote, an audio player. I wrote this in Unity, and I'll open it up and show you that an audio is using an audio wave, which is coming from the an audio DLL. And with the an audio DLL, I'm able to translate the MP3 file into a WAV file and then load it up with the www class. So where do I get this N audio DLL? That's this DLL right here. And I got it from this location on the internet, dllme.com, get file PHP. This URL here is where I downloaded the N audio DLL. Okay, and then after I downloaded it, um, I just drag and dropped the DLL here in my assets folder so I could use it in my project. So the N audio DLL, it needs to use, as you can see when I click on it, it needs to use .NET 4.0. So the only other thing I gotta do is make sure that my project is using .NET 4.0. So let me go into my build settings. And here I have player settings. And then down here in other settings, see I have player other settings there is right here configuration API compatibility level and I just made sure that is set to 4.0 okay because that's what my an audio DLL needs it needs this 4.0 now a script that is an example of how to use an audio that's this an audio player script that I was showing over here and here's where the link is. When you download the um, source code from omarvision.com, you could copy the link there. And here is the um, an example of the script that's typed in right here from this location. So I almost have the script exactly the same as this one here from this location. 
see this is the one from the internet and mine is pretty much similar to that I just you know I use my method where I have a helper and in the helper there's a class that reads wave files and this I'm not gonna explain it but what it's basically gonna do is gonna read the mp3 and then it's going to um, uncompress the mp3 and then save it back as a WAV file okay basically to the hard drive or to memory actually this doesn't actually use the hard drive it's gonna read the mp3 file and convert it to a WAV file in memory that's what this class does here so and then here this is the uh, the memory stream that's going to be converted into and basically what my song and audio calls is from mp3 data so that is this function right here so here's where everything starts from so the memory stream the file reader the wave stream this just reads a file and if it's a two channel file like stereo then it runs this one and if it's a one channel file then it just uses the left channel for mono because it usually goes left right so if it's mono it only has left okay so that will load up the clip and then it'll play so does this work let's find out we have song mp3 is a song and we have song 2 on there's a check mark and the first one song 1 is off so here's song 2 and I'm going to press play and let's see if we hear this mp3 so there's no error and you can hear the mp3 so it loaded it from anywhere on the hard drive it loaded it from C. Omar song and there you go folks that's how you load an mp3 from anywhere on your hard drive in unity 